know a place where we can go and be alone. So come away with me, nobody has to know. Gypsy Family Adventures. In this video, you'll watch us clean out our almost 5,000 square foot house, continue activities with the twins to keep things as normal for them as possible, and say goodbye to Bloomington, Illinois. We traveled south and visit some family along the way to St. Augustine and moved on to our sailboat, our 1986 Irwin 43. Join us for this epic adventure. All right, Gypsy Family Adventures is uh, in process of cleaning out the house. So we bought the sailboat. Our house is sold. We close on the house um, May 30th. And today is May 3rd. And I still have so many things to go through. Like, I have all of these shoes. I mean, look at these fabulous shoes. I don't want to get rid of them, but I know I'm not going to wear them on the boat. No, definitely not. But I don't want to get rid of them. Look at these. Holy smokes. They're freaking fabulous, right? I don't want to get rid of them. Um, really old boots that are incredibly comfortable that I may wear again one day. Who knows? But I've got so much stuff to get rid of. I have all these dresses, jean jackets. I'm sure I'll wear some dresses on the boat because they're like sundresses or whatever, but I'm not going to wear any anything formal. I mean, that's that's not happening ever again, probably for a long time in the foreseeable future. I've got all these purses. This is not even half the purses that I used to have, but I've got a lot of purses still. Um, scrubs, I'm going to keep because uh, probably when we come in for... Um, holidays I'll probably pick up a contract and go work in the local hospital or whatever and then uh Will went through his he still has a bunch of stuff that he's got to get rid of uh yeah so that's the closet and we've already got most of our furniture in the pod you can see I still have these laundry baskets I am not going to have a washer dryer on this boat so we're going to really have to um, um, figure out what we're going to do with all these clothes. I'm thinking that we're going to <laughs> donate a lot of them. Um, I haven't even begun to go through the drawers in our end tables. I have journals from like 20 years ago in there. Do I really want to keep them? Probably not. So maybe I'll have a burning ceremony. Um... Yeah, not the prettiest, um, cleanest bedroom, but we're in the process of cleaning out the house, packing, and putting stuff in the pod. All right, gang. This is my, what, fourth try at uh, getting rid of stuff and condensing down uh, my clothes to fit in that firefighter duffel bag. 
So I have to seriously, those obviously are for the girls, um, little graduation ceremony tonight, but I have so much stuff. Oh, goodness gracious. <sighs> this is a task. All these purses, everything used to mean so much to me, like stuff. It just doesn't anymore. What's the important thing is being able to spend time with my family and not feel so stressed out all the time. So, I've got one bucket done. That is from the bottom three drawers right there. So that's one bucket. Not sure about those pajamas. And these clothes are going. So that bag is a bag of stuff from my son. One of them, maybe both of them, could be all of them. And so anyway, all right, we'll keep moving. So I just opened our linen closet and I've already gone through this three times. <laughs> None of these sheets that are in here are going to fit the beds on our boat. Um, we have king size and twin sheets. So I'm, there's no sense in me keeping all of this. Um, and then that bag that's down there on the bottom, um, that is what I've already packed to bring to the boat um so I'm not exactly sure what's in it because I did that like I think a month ago maybe two months ago the last time I cleaned out this closet <sighs> so I have to go through here again this is probably going to be one of the last things that I go through because we're still using the sheets and towels so and the washcloths yep just one more thing here we are, the big push to get everything done so I could do a house cleaning. There's like next to no furniture there. Hi! Hi! <laughs> and I'm just making a video. We still have girl stuff in here so that they have stuff to play with. But the rest of the house is empty. You saw my kiddos from a long time ago and let's go upstairs and see what we've got up here the hallway still has a bunch of stuff that I need to make some decisions on Scarlett's room empty bathroom just stuff on the counters old playroom empty and going down the hallway we have like i said stuff that we have to make decisions and then we have the, the bedroom <laughs> that is used to be mommy's bedroom and now it became a camp out so yeah yeah the camp out room and this is the last room that'll get cleaned oh your sister's screaming downstairs that room still needs to get cleaned. The closet, we just need to put stuff in bags. Your sister's downstairs screaming. What? Juliet's room is empty. Yes. It's very really empty, even my closet. <laughs> even her closet's empty. Need to still go in and clean her bathroom. I'm going to go Bye. And the office is empty even the closet everything is empty except for about four rooms and the basement is empty as well hey scarlet do the dance you can do that again
<laughs> so what we're doing tomorrow, Scarlett? What? We're leaving. Where are we going? Oh, don't what are we doing today? We are going to coating in Olivia. Coating in Olivia. Coating in Olivia. Coating in Olivia. And then what are we going to do next? Go on a plane. And then where are we going to go? To the boat. Oh, to the boat. Up to the boat, up to the boat. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm Honey. excited. <laughs> You're killing me, too. <laughs> You're killing me. How's that wiggly tooth? Can you wiggle? show me your wiggly tooth? Oh, super wiggly. Look how big you are. Okay, you gonna pose? Yep. As we pull away from my parents' house, with the plan that we made four years ago, we acknowledge this is finally a reality, which also brings up a mixture of emotions. Get some help. What happened? We got a flat. What? We got a flat. Oh. Yeah. It is this flat. call may be recorded for quality purposes. This is flat. Okay, let mommy talk. Welcome to our star. How can I help you? Hi, we have a flat tire and we're on Highway 24 East in Kentucky, right over the Ohio River Bridge. Um, thanks for watching, Sub like and subscribe all day. Thank you for watching Gypsy Family Adventures. Follow along and come back next week to see how the adventure continues. Yeah.